Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm okay, you know. Um, I'm going to 3rd and 22nd. 3rd and 22nd? Yes. You're in the cash cab. <laughs> it's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. Are you serious? I am totally serious. Oh my god. Is that crazy or what? Yes. What do you think of my ceiling? I like it. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Yes, this is not what I would be expecting to <laughs> do right. today. So what do you say? Do you want to play? Yes. All right, awesome. Let's take a ride in the cash cab. So what's your name? Jamie. What do you do, Jamie? I am a children's birthday party planner. Awesome. All right, here we go. It's a 33-block ride, so let's get started right away. Are okay. you ready? Yes. All right, here we go. These first questions are worth 50 bucks a piece. Here comes your first one. Apparently not all he's quacked up to be. Fooey is the all but forgotten fourth nephew alongside Huey, Dewey, and Louie of what famous cartoon character? Donald Duck. Yes, Donald Duck is right. And you're on the board with 50 bucks. One for one, let's see if you can go two for two. The epitome of nerd humor, what LA landmark was altered in 1987 to read Caltech? Um, the Hollywood sign. Yes, the Hollywood okay. sign is right, and you're two for two. Got 100 bucks, let's see if you can get 50 more. For your first visual clue, it's the clap heard around the world. Nancy Pelosi became a meme goddess after applauding Trump at what annual event? It would be the way they're standing, the State of the Union address. Yes, that's right, State of the Union address is right, and you're three for three. Here's your final $50 question, you're doing great, Jamie leading many to believe it was just one of Google's annual pranks, Gmail was introduced on what date in 2004? Uh, a prank, one of their pranks, so I'm assuming April Fools, um, which is the 1st of April. I'm gonna say April 1st. Yes, that's right, April 1st. April Fools Yay. Day is right. My dad is gonna be so proud of me. Yeah, is he a yeah. Cash Cab fan or um, he's like a trivia he's guy? He's just or? smart. He's just a smart guy. Yeah. Hey, Dad. <laughs> Your daughter thinks you're smart. Oh, he's gonna love that. Four for four on the 50s. Those are now done. These next questions are worth 100 bucks each and they're a little bit harder. Here is your first $100 question. Consuming 26 drinks in Casino Royale and 25 in Spectre, what actor has reportedly downed more on-screen booze than any other Bond? <sighs> okay, I dated a guy who made me watch all of these. Uh, Daniel Craig. Yes, Daniel Craig is right. He's the drunkest Bond in history. Way to go, Craig. All right, still a perfect game. 300 bucks going on 400. Before becoming America's O Captain of Poetry, who wrote Manly Health and Training, which encouraged growing a beard, skinny dipping, and eating only meat? Um. Before becoming America's O Captain of Poetry, who wrote Manly Health and Training, which encouraged growing a beard, skinny dipping, and eating only meat? Um, a shout out. Shout out, all right. A street shout out or a social media shout out? Social media. A social media shout out, all right, good call. Who wrote Manly Health and Training, which encouraged growing a beard, skinny dipping, and eating only meat? All right, here we go. You've got 15 seconds from now to pick an answer and give it to me. Everyone's saying Walt Whitman. I'll say Walt Whit Whitman. Or are you gonna say Walt Whitman, eh? Yeah. Oh, Captain, my Captain, Walt Whitman is right! Yes! Thank you, everyone. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for helping out. Successful social media shout out. Still strike free, up to $400. Let's see if you can make it 500. But first, we're stuck at a red light and that triggers a red light challenge! All right. All right, here we go. Here's your red light challenge question. Besides Iran, there are five other countries that share a border with Iraq. Name all five. Go. Uh, Pakistan. Keep guessing. Turkey. Anything. One um, with Turkey. Egypt. United Arab uh, Emirates. Um, well, keep guessing, though. Um, You're doing great. Uh, Syria. Yes. Uh, Libya. That's two. Um, 15 seconds. I, Iran. Turkey. Um, ah! Okay, um, keep guessing. Any country Libya, doesn't matter. Syria, Turkey, Egypt, Iran, Pakistan. Um, uh, Five seconds. Uh, uh, I forget every country. Uh, oh, no. time ran out. All right, that's okay. Every single one. The ones you did not say, Jordan, Kuwait, and Saudi Arabia. 
All right. That was a tough one. You're all, all by yourself. I'll work on my geography. That Don't be too bad. hard on yourself. That okay. was pretty good. All right, shake it off. Let's get back to the regular game. You still right. have $400. Originating in Puerto Rico and popular throughout the Caribbean, mofongo is a dish made with pork rinds and what mashed banana-like fruit? I'm going to say plantains. Yes, plantains oh is right. And that's good for another 100 bucks, and you're up to 500. I've never had plantains in my life. Here's your final $100 question. A present from her third husband, the Mike Todd Tierra, sold for $4.2 million at what legendary actress's 2011 estate auction? I'm going to just guess and say Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, that's oh right. A total God. guess, but it was right. I am shocked. Nice work. Nine blocks to go. That's it for the hundreds. These next questions are worth 200 bucks each, and they are harder still. You're doing great. Here's your first oh, one. I'm freaking out. Okay. <laughs> Check out your next visual clue. Okay. Wearing the colors of his national flag, this man is jumping over these babies to cleanse them of sin during the El Salto del Colacho, a festival in what country? Um, I'm gonna do a shout out. A shout out, all right, you can use that street shout out. Yeah. Choose wisely and good luck. I'm in the cash cab. Can you help me? I'm good, how are you? Right. I hope you can help me. What's your name, buddy? My name is Joe. Joe, nice to meet hey, you, Joe. man. All right, here we go. This is a question that Jamie here needs your help with. This man is jumping over these babies to cleanse them of sin during El Salto del Colacho, a festival in what country? I'm thinking over in Madrid somewhere, but I'm not too sure, and it's a lot of money, I understand. Yeah, it's okay, I won't be mad. Yeah, I mean... And Madrid is in Portugal. No, that's in, it's in Spain. Spain. Do you know Five anything seconds. about the flags? I oh, not. I need to give you an answer? You have three seconds now. Um, Spain. Yes! Spain oh is right! God. You got it! Thank you so much! <laughs> oh my so God! Thank you! Yes! 800 going on a thousand. Almost up to a thousand bucks. Still no strikes, but your shout outs are gone. You're on your own for the rest of the game. Gotta make it four more blocks. I'm shaking. According to legend, a Lebanese grove of olive trees, nicknamed the Sisters, provided the olive branch that signaled the end of what biblical event? The olive branch, I think, was the end of the flood with Noah's Ark. Final. That's my choice. Yes, the flood is right. The oh, great flood. Oh my yes. God. Thank you, Sunday nice School. Nice work. <laughs> my grandpa's going to be proud of me for that one. Oh, that's awesome. Well done. Strike free and up to a thousand bucks. Oh my God. <laughs> You're doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Breathe easy. Oh, my God. Two blocks to go. Looks like we're going to get maybe just one more question in. You've got a thousand bucks. This will bring you up to 1,200. Here we go. Still no strikes. Things are looking good. Though it's considered roadkill in the States, what mammal's armor-like shell is traditionally used to make a South American stringed instrument called a charango? Two blocks to go. Looks like we're gonna get maybe just one more question in. You've got a thousand bucks. This will bring you up to 1,200. Here we go. Still no strikes. Things are looking good. Though it's considered roadkill in the States, what mammal's armor-like shell is traditionally used to make a South American stringed instrument called a charango? My gut, for some reason, is telling me armadillo. Armadillo's right, oh my God. and we're here, so you just won 1,200 bucks oh in the cash God. cab. Oh my, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm not kidding. Oh you just won $1,200. <sighs> okay, Jamie, I know you're very stressed. You are kidding me. You're about to just hit that. All right, so here's the deal, Jamie. You've made it here. You've won $1,200 in the cash cab. Now, I've got it right here. I can give it to you now. You can take it and be on your way. Or you can stick around and risk it all, go double or nothing on a video bonus question. Now here's how that would work. I'll play a video clip for you. I'll ask you a single question about the video clip. 
If you get it wrong, you lose the 1200 But if you get it right, you're going to double your money. You're going to climb out of the cash cab with $2,400. So take a minute, think it over. I feel like 2400 is so much money, but so is 1200 1200 make a big difference for you? Yeah. And I would literally put every, like, every cent of it into student loans. And I would rather have that than nothing. Than nothing, yeah. So I'm just going to take this You're gonna and take walk. it and walk yeah. away. You want 1200 bucks in the cash cap? Here it is. Thank you. <laughs> Do I get to just keep this? Yeah. Thank that was you awesome. so much. Thank it was you. so nice meeting yeah, you. Thank you, you so much. Great game. All right. I can't believe it. A great flood of cash into Jamie's life. I hope it helps. It makes a big difference when the cash cab rolls off. What a great one. But I have one more stop to make.